earlids. Excuse me if that hurt your ear lids, or whatever they're called, ears. Anyway, welcome to the best breakfast burrito. This is epic, this is easy to make, this is multifaceted, multi-component, multi-textural, and this is like a mouthgasm. Yes, I did say that. Anyway, welcome aboard. First step we're gonna do is we're gonna make a scrambled tofu. Okay, take a white bottom non-stick pan, put it on high heat. Once it's hot, reduce it to medium heat. We're gonna put in a little squirt of oil. And we're gonna take 200 gram block of firm tofu. And just we're just gonna rip it up. Just literally get in there and rip it up. This is where you're gonna take that stress out. Just any tension and just pop it in the pan. Ooh. Okay, what we're trying to do first is just to sear it, just to get kind of a little bit of caramelization on the surface of our tofu. Don't worry if it does start to stick. Okay, once your tofu has started to sear, as in just go a little bit brown around the outsides and start to seal the surface area of it, we're gonna add in, we've one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, about a quarter teaspoon of um, turmeric, and then we have about half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Uh, in it goes. Next up, I have one tablespoon of tamari, which you might go, that doesn't go in um, scrambled eggs, but it just adds a wonderful umami note. So in it goes to the pan, and just spread it around quickly, because you want each little bit really absorbing that lovely umami note. Just gonna turn that off the heat. I'm gonna pour it into a bowl, and then we're gonna put a little bit, what's known as kalanamak on the top. The reason why I put it on after the cooking process is because heat normally dissolves the flavor, diminishes the flavor. Kalanamak, if you don't know what it is, it's black sulfur salt, so it genuinely makes it taste eggy or sulfurous. Just put a little sprinkle on the top and leave it. Boom. Okay, we've just given the pan a little bit of clean in between our tofu, and now we're gonna take on our mushrooms. So these are to function a little bit like umame bacon, if you will. So if you can get oyster mushrooms, they're just a lot more grisly. Just rip them up and tear them into nice big long strips. Okay, pan is nice and hot, starting to smoke. Again, we're gonna go in with just a little bit of oil. Once it's nice and hot, let's get our mushrooms in there. Okay, while our mushrooms are reducing, evaporating, and caramelizing, I've got one tablespoon of tamari here, one tablespoon of maple syrup, uh, okay, and I've got about half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Again, this is to mimic that smoked umami kind of streaky-like, um, bacon note. So once this hits the pan, the maple syrup is gonna wanna contract and caramelize, so just really get it moving through the pan quickly. So get in there quickly, turn it off the heat. You can already smell those sugars just, oh. Okay, they're off the heat now. They look, they smell. They are tender, they are sweet, they are mama, they are grizzly, they are smoky. They are fabulous. Anyway, oyster mushrooms in the go. Okay, last and final component to this, we're gonna make some hash browns. So, we have cooked some potatoes and kind of parboiled them. I've chopped them into cubes. I have a nice wide bottom non-stick pan, same one again, just gave it a little rinse. I'm gonna go in with about a tablespoon of oil because we really wanna just get that crispy surface going. Spread it around. In they go to the pan and we're gonna shake them around a little bit. And just move them around the pan to encourage them to move their starch. Then we're gonna leave them so they crisp up on one side. Okay, spuds can really take a lot of salt, so go in with a generous pinch of salt, just on the surface here now. A little pinch of black pepper. Pick them from the side and just, ooh, they're a little sticky. Okay, this is where it gets nice. So what we're trying to get is, you see this kind of little fluffiness in the outside? This is where it's gonna get crispy. Uh, so one of the most important bits with hash browns is the little crispy bits. So just make sure to remove them off the edge. Just get, mix them in through it. It'll just add these little pockets of crispiness. Okay, now to take our hash browns and turn them into the next level. So we're gonna take some spicy red pepper pesto. If you don't have it, you can simply use some sriracha sauce. It's just gonna pump them full of color, pump them full of spice, pump them full of flavor. So I've got two tablespoons, just in it goes into the pan. This is gonna add fat, this is gonna add flavor, this is gonna add just party time. Okay, last and final touch, I took three scallions, also known as green onions, and I'm just popping them in for a pop of color and just a pop of um, kind of that nice oniony allium note going through it. Uh, hash brown spiced with green onion are done, in they go and we'll set them aside. 
Okay, time to bring this together. So I have about five tablespoons of vegan mayonnaise. Into that I'm gonna put in some of our spicy red pepper pesto. If you don't have any of this spicy red pepper pesto, you can simply use some sriracha, whichever you have, or even a little bit of both. So I'm just putting in about a tablespoon. It's just gonna add a bit of pop color and just more flavor to it. I'm gonna put in a bit of both just for Okay, final part, avocado, just scoop it out, cut it in half. Ideally use Haas if you can, which is kind of the darker avocados. Easiest way to avoid cutting yourself with is just take a spoon, scoop it out, lay it down on a board, and just slice it from there. Okay, so we've got our pan on low heat. I'm gonna pop in our tortilla. It's just gonna make it more malleable, a little bit more softer, and just also caramelize it slightly. Just in the avocado, just squeeze a little bit of lime just to stop it going uh, brown. Okay, our tortilla is nice and moist. It smells amazing. Okay, get a nice generous bit of our um, sriracha mayo. Next, we're gonna go in with our mushrooms. Okay, next step, we got our tofu or our scrambled tofu coming in. Again, try to just keep things as separate as you can. It'll just look better when they're finished in the proper segregation. We're going with the avocado, just so we're getting contrast of color. Again, be generous, because this is the fat beside the mayonnaise. So this is gonna complement the other two components really, really well. The last and final step, we have our hash browns. So this is the starch, or the filler. So bring it in from the sides, over the top. Let me just wanna pull it in on itself. Try to get as much, try to get it all. Yeah, we pull it in. Oh, nailed. Just bring it in from the side so it's nicely sealed. That's firm, that's solid, that's good. Moment of truth, here we go. Own it, own it. Ready? Oh, look at that. Okay, it looks magic. It feels really solid and it kind of really holds itself together. I am starving, look at this. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Mmm, mmm. It's that perfect texture that you can fit it all in your mouth and you feel greedy, but kind of not too greedy. Like the mushrooms are grizzly, the tofu is soft and kind of eggy, the avocado is fat. You're getting that sriracha mayo and just all in the backdrop of that crispy, soft, amazing hug from potatoes. This is beautiful, this is magnificent. I would wake up to this every day. Um, this is a beautiful recipe, literally took half an hour from start to finish. It'd be great weekend brunch, nice afternoon celebration, things you can bring together. Like it's so tasty and just that lingering note of that spicy sriracha mayo or uh, spicy red pepper pesto mayo, it is magnificent. Um, thank you for watching this. Thank you for being part of this channel. If you would like to support the channel, our new book is out. Uh, it's called The Veg Box. It's all about celebrating veg, getting people to eat more veg and reduce food waste. We've taken the 10 most common veg used in Ireland and the UK, cooked them 10 ways using 10 ingredients or less. So it's really to make simple veg, like taste incredible and take them to the next level and really hold your hand and teach you how to cook them properly. Anyway, link down below to pre-order that. Thank you for watching this. Thank you for being part of this channel and uh, wishing you a great day. Bye.